What's up everyone? Wood stoves are still one of the most common methods of cooking and heating, particularly due to their practicality. However, it is possible to use these stoves more efficiently and minimize heat waste with the help of a wood stove thermometer. This kind of thermometer can help you determine the temperature and hence the amount of wood needed for a particular task. There are a number of options on the market, which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compiled a list of the top five best wood stove thermometers on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we have Editor's Pick, Boone Hearth Thermometer, COMINHKPR96375. We all love a thermometer that functions well and is easy to use, and the Boone Hearth Thermometer is just that. It has a magnetic base that attaches to the pipe on the stove and monitors temperature changes. Like all good thermometers, this one also features a wire handle, making it very easy to remove and relocate. Its pros are, it comes with complete installation instructions. It has color-coded temperature ranges for easy reading. And those readings are calibrated in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. Accurate readings are represented that optimize the stove's use. And there's a thick glass cover that is resistant to breakage in case of bumping or falling. However, it does not feature any warranty and the readings are too small to be comfortably visible from a distance. Bottom line is, it is equipped with dual calibration. It has color-coded regions and a big needle, and it has a thick glass cover. Next, we have Best Magnetic Wood Stove Thermometer, Vermont Castings Thermometer Number 574. This is a solidly built unit that added a great flair to the stove with its stylish design. The magnet held on to the stove quite well. It was fairly easy to read the temperature from it and estimate the stove's performance. Its pros are, it comes with a wire handle for taking it off the stove and relocating. Its dual metric scale measures temperature in Fahrenheit and Celsius, and it's very accurate temperature measurements with Vermont Castings original parts. It only weighs around 0.3 ounces and does not add any considerable weight to the stove, and it's mounted on top of the stove and measures temperature and optimizes stove performance. However, the needle is too small to be seen from a distance, and the dial is not color-coded, nor does it represent the optimal and dangerous temperature regions individually. Bottom line is, this is the best magnetic wood stove thermometer. It has dual temperature readings for Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it's made from strong and durable materials. Next, we have Best for the Money, Frenda Magnetic Thermometer. The thermometer may be placed on the flue pipe originating from the top or the side of the stove. Hence, it is compatible with all stove designs, and it provides excellent value for the price. And it has a detailed dial and a handle for relocation. Its pros are, two thermometers are included in the package. It measures temperatures in Fahrenheit and Celsius, it features a bi-metal temperature sensor for very accurate readings. It has convenient placing on the top or side pipe to suit different designs. And the dial represents the ranges with optimal temperature, creosote buildup, and high temperature. However, dial is not color-coded, and the numbers on the dial are too small. Bottom line is, this is the best for your money. Two gauges are included in the package and it can measure temperatures from 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we have runner-up Midwest Hearth Thermometer. The magnet held its place well and did not move or fall off even when the stove was used. Buyers saw a great improvement in their stove's performance and fuel consumption overall after they started using the thermometer's reading for optimal performance. Its pros are, it can measure from 100 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, Zones are color-coded and easy to interpret, and the porcelain finish looks good on your stovetop. It has a flip-up handle which allows for easy relocation if needed, 
and is placed on top of the stove surface for temperature readings. However, the dial needle is very small and difficult to see from a distance, and the relocation handle is made of metal wire and needs to be cooled down before grabbing to avoid burns. Bottom line is, this can be used on stovetop surfaces for temperature reading, it has high heat resistance magnet for secure attachment, and it comes with an easy flip-up handle which is included. Finally, we have best overall, Galafire COMINHKPR141991. Recent buyers have labeled this product as a must-have for those who use indoor fires. They also like the thermometer's design that suited all stove types and looked decent sitting on top of it. A drop or rise in temperature was clearly indicated by it and helped users act accordingly. Its pros are, it's backed by a two-year manufacturer's warranty. It could be placed on top or at the side of the stove. The aluminum construction gives very accurate readings, and the white needle over the black dial is easier to read from a distance. The dial reads from 100 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, covering a wide range of temperatures. However, it's a little difficult to read in the dark, and the dial represents only the optimal range in color. The rest of the dial is black. Bottom line is, it's made from durable materials to last longer. It has large and clear readings for ease of use, and it comes with a two-year warranty included. There you have it, our top five best wood stove thermometers on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.